Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is a little bit different than my usual videos, because unlike my usual videos where I'm telling you how to save money, or how to make a little bit of extra money, or how to get deals on coins or precious metals, well, in this video, I am actually going to be telling you how you should be spending your money as a coin collector or precious metals investor, and how to do it in the best way possible. Now before we get into the three items that I think you guys should be sparing no expense on, I want to tell you a little bit about the impetus for making this video. In my normal everyday life, when I'm talking to my non-coin collector friends, I will frequently pontificate about three items that I think everybody should spend as much as they can possibly afford, and maybe even a little more, on these items. And those are your smartphone, your laptop, and your mattress. And here's why. Now, if you're scratching your head and kind of wondering what on earth is the connection between those three items, you might say, okay, I get laptop and smartphone, but mattress? Well, think about it like this. Those are the three items that pretty much everybody uses more every single day than anything else. I mean, think about it. Your car, you spend tons of money on that, but you only use it about two hours a day, maybe. Television, hopefully not more than a couple hours a day, hopefully even less than that sports equipment, all sorts of other stuff like that you'll spend a lot of money on, but honestly, you're barely ever using that stuff. However, your laptop, your smartphone, and your mattress, hours-wise, you are using non-stop. And just to be clear, I do tell my friends and family to spend thousands of dollars on their mattresses. Yes, literally thousands of dollars, and I think you should too. Now, if you're looking at me right now and thinking, Silver Picker, are you nuts? I'm not spending thousands of dollars, a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars on a mattress. Are you crazy? Well, just hear me out. Normally, you might go to a restaurant and spend 15 bucks on a burger, fries, and a drink, right? That doesn't seem too crazy. Well, you buy that burger, fries, and a drink, and that will keep you satiated for about four hours, let's say. Which means, for 15 bucks, you're willing to spend reasonably $3.75 per hour of enjoyment and utility of that meal, right? Well, think about a mattress. Let's say we have a $2,500 mattress, which is a good quality mattress in a lot of cases. $2,500 mattress will last about seven years. Assuming you sleep eight hours a night, which you should, by the way, that comes out to 12 cents per hour. $3.75 for a burger, fries, and a drink, or 12 cents? for a great night of sleep, comfort every single night, a great morning when you wake up, better health, better productivity, making more money ultimately, yes, that's right. So it's a no-brainer, it's just not the way that people think about things. And same thing for your laptop and your phone. You're on your smartphone all day long, you're doing work on your laptop all day long. Now, if this logic made you think a little bit differently, I would really appreciate it if you'd consider hitting the subscribe button. What I've noticed in my analytics is that almost all of you watching my videos are not subscribed. I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button. It'll be great for you because you'll learn a lot about coin collecting, precious metal stacking, personal finance, and much more. And it will help me reach my next milestone, which is 75,000 subscribers. I am this close. Please help me get there. It would mean the world to me. So now you know my philosophy when it comes to spending money on ordinary, everyday things and which things I think you should spend top dollar on and spare no expense. But I also have a list of three items that coin collectors and silver stackers or any precious metal investor should also be spending top dollar on if they want to get the most out of their investment or out of the hobby. Number three on the list are coin albums. If you are a coin collector, you've got to spend your top dollar on your coin albums. Think about it. You're spending hundreds, thousands, and some of you even tens of thousands of dollars on your coin collections, buying coins, banknotes, and other rarities. Don't settle for a cheapo album. Don't buy a cheapo album that could contain PVC, other chemicals, or acids that can damage your coins and damage and destroy the value of your collection. Don't cheap out on that. And even with the brand name albums that are definitely acid free and archival safe, but they're the lower end albums, they just don't look great. Go for the highest quality albums you can afford. Think about it. If you thought my mattress argument was good because you're going to be using the mattress for seven years, 
Sometimes coin collections sit in albums not for seven years, but for 70 years or longer, for generations. Protect your coins in the best way you can and make sure that they survive in the best shape and with the best value for the generations to come. Also, if you buy a nice album like this and spend good money on it, you are going to have a much more enjoyable collecting experience because when you look through your albums, when you peruse them, when you show them off to your friends, it will be that much more spectacular and that much more engaging for everyone involved. I can't stress it enough, don't buy a $5 coin album. Spend some good money on it, invest the money in quality, and you will thank me 10, 20, 30, 50 years down the road, I kid you not. Now number two is also mainly for coin collectors, but don't worry, we're gonna get to precious metal stackers in number three. But number two is coin grading and authentication services. If you are interested in getting your coins graded or authenticated, great. I'm not saying you have to as a coin collector, but if you decide to, do not waste your money on lower tier coin grading services. I know that if you've got a $300 coin and you grade it with ICG, it's gonna only cost you 12 bucks. It's way, way better to spend the $35, more than double, with PCGS or NGC, where you know that you're going to get an accurate grade and that when you go to resell that coin, you're going to be able to get the premium you paid back. The $12 option may seem good at first, but saving money there is a huge mistake. Go with the top tier systems and you will thank me later when you go to sell those coins and you're actually able to get your investment back or even make some money. Now, if you guys have tried any of the Tier 2 or Tier 3 or Tier 1 grading services, let me know about your experience in the comments below. I want to hear, especially from the people who have used PCGS or NGC and then other Tier 2 or Tier 3 services like ICG. Definitely want to hear from you guys. Now, before we get to number one, as I mentioned, I review my YouTube analytics a ton. And aside from the fact that I noticed that a lot of you aren't actually subscribed, I also noticed that you guys who watch my videos are of a particularly educated and intelligent subset of all YouTube viewers at large. So I kind of suspect that you figured out my ruse, right? This video isn't actually about telling you to just spend copious amounts of money for no reason. It's telling you to spend your money in a smart way that will ultimately let you get the most utility, enjoyment, and value out of the items that you're buying, which will ultimately actually save you money in the long run. So yes, spending a lot of money at the beginning when you first purchase a product and you buy quality, you're actually buying value that will ultimately save you money in the long run. That's right. And I want to share with you a quote from a friend of mine who told me that her grandmother used to say, we're too poor to buy the cheap stuff. And that has always resonated with me. It just shows that just because you're able to spend a little bit of money when you first purchase something, it doesn't mean that the product is actually a good value. And spending more money on something can end up paying dividends in the long run. So when you're buying coins or coin supplies or any of the things that I'm talking about in this video or anything in your life to be, to be quite frank, Think about how long you're going to be using that item, how frequently you're going to be using that item, and what kind of value you can get out of that when you spend a little bit of extra money. And number one, the number one thing not to scrimp and save on is security and safety for your coin collection. There are countless stories of people who have spent thousands, tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars on their silver and gold stack or their coin collection over the years only to have it stolen or destroyed by the elements. It is a travesty and it is soul crushing and heartbreaking when that happens, but you can prevent it right now by not cheaping out on the wrong security or safety item. Now, think about coin and precious metal bullion storage options, and most people will think of a safe, right? Most safes that you will buy are total garbage. And when your coin collection gets stolen, you're not going to think that that safe is actually that safe, right? Any of those safes that you can buy from Staples or Walmart or any of those places are total garbage. All they do is conveniently tell a would-be thief where all of your valuables are stored. They don't even have to go around your house searching. They just know exactly where it is. If it's a super cheap safe, they'll just pry it open, pop open the door, and grab all your stuff. If it's a heavier duty safe and it's only medium cheap, they're going to just unbolt it from the floor and carry it out to their van and deal with it later. Unless you can have a safe 
that is super heavy duty, that can't be moved by people, it needs to be moved by machines, and is bolted into the floor, into concrete, don't have a safe in your house. I'm serious, it doesn't make any sense in this day and age. So make sure that if you're going to buy a safe, that it is a really, really good one. Now, if you live in a rental, or you live in an apartment where you can't have a safe of that quality, and of that expense, of course, then here are some other very good options. I already know I'm going to catch some heat in the comments for this, but this is my honest opinion. Now, obviously, if you can spend top dollar and spend thousands of dollars on a really good safe and security system, great. But if not, another great alternative is your bank safety deposit box. Yes, it is a little pricey. You are going to have to spend an annual fee every single year to keep your gold and silver stored there, but it will be very, very secure. Yes, there are some other downsides. You don't have access to it at 24-7. There's a lot of other reasons why you might not want to do it. But for me, I think that that's actually the best option because a bank vault is going to have way better security and safety than pretty much anything you can buy at home, certainly not at a budget. Another alternative is using a precious metals vaulting service. There are lots of vaulting services. I've actually showed you one called upma.org. And basically what it does is you buy physical gold and silver or platinum or whatever precious metals you want, and they are kept in a vault in a high security location and guaranteed by that company. So they provide all the security, they provide all of the safety, and all of those things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do because you live in an apartment or a rental or whatever. And that is a great option because you know that your stuff will be safe. Yes, it is a little pricey. You do have to pay rent, essentially, on that vaulting service every single month or every single year, but you are going to be getting a foolproof security system. Now, there are also some downsides to that because you don't have easy access to your precious metals. There's lots of other reasons why you might not want to do it. But in terms of security and safety, it is definitely worth the money. Now, again, it's not foolproof, but no security method is either. This one I would put 10 times more of my, of my stamp of approval on than any kind of cheap safe that you're going to be able to get uh, for under like $2,000. So, do you agree, disagree, do you think I missed something? If you have something that you spend top dollar on and you think that everyone else should too, put it in the comments down below because I want to hear about it, but I'm sure the rest of the community does too. If you like this video, there's another one coming right up after this, and I would love it if you'd stick around and check out more of my awesome videos about coin collecting, precious metal stacking, and personal finance. I got a lot more cool stuff coming down the pipe, so until then, stay tuned. Silver Picker app. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my work. Now, I want to support your work. A bunch of my patrons have started YouTube channels of their own. I'm going to link them below. They're on all sorts of different topics, so check them out and enjoy. And if you're not yet a patron, now's the time.